वन डे आई वॉज क्रॉलिंग थ्रू यूट्यूब एंड आई फाउंड दिस वीडियो लेट्स इट टू कहते I want this air dryer. Fixing gasoline engines everywhere is not the practical approach. Let's find something else that can replace gasoline engines. But what? A few minutes later. Steam engine. Steam engine can be used somewhere. In fact, we have done this before. In 19th century, steam engines were used in locomotives. As we are very familiar with water, I am very curious about how does steam engine work. We will be grateful if we can see how does it work. And in fact, we are. Engine DIY shop has sent us something interesting. Let's unbox it. So here is the package that I've received from Engine DIY shop. Let's open it using box cutter. Before I reveal the full structure, you can guess in comments what is it. I was very excited while unboxing it because it's first time when some company has sent me their product to make a video. It's a manual that I'm never gonna read. Pause this video if you are interested in reading this. Finally, it's time to reveal the mystery that has never been the mystery. So it's a aileron steam engine. It has a bearing on the top of it and here is the alcohol lamp to heat it up. First of all we need to put some clear water in the boiler. Here I'm using syringe. According to manual it requires 10 ml of clear water. Make sure you are using clear water cause small particle will jam its jet from where boiler throws the vapor outside. Fix it again on its place using this pin. Now we need some alcohol not to drink but to fill in this alcohol lamp. Unfortunately I couldn't find so here I am using spirit that is basically nail polish remover that I tapped from my sister's room. So here we are ready to make our first attempt to run a steam engine. Let's fire the lamp and wait until water hits the boiling point. After heating it for about a minute, it started spinning for the first time. After few seconds of spinning, the boiler started wobbling and vibrating. The stand was sliding on the table, so I had to stop it immediately. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Let's do it again. This time I have fixed the stand on the table using transparent tape. Because the boiler was already hot, it started spinning earlier than before. It started spinning so fast that everyone stepped back and even I was looking at it from 5 feet away. Because of high pressure the valve popped up and the boiler jumped on the table and here you can see what happened. Then I noticed that I hadn't fixed the boiler properly that's why it was wobbling and vibrating. So I corrected my mistake using this plier. 
Now we are going to make our third and final attempt of running a steam engine. This time I have lowered the flame slightly so that the boiler won't get over pressured again as before. You can see the timer to see how much time it takes to get started. After 1 minute and 5 seconds of heating this it started getting momentum. After couple of seconds it has started spinning properly and this time it's not wobbling or vibrating. Let's check its spin time. After spinning for almost 142 seconds, the boiler did not have much water to throw out and it stopped. I love the way it works. So make sure you hit subscribe and turn on notifications. Thank you Engine DIY Shop for sending me this awesome steam engine. You can find variety of steam engines on Engine DIY Shop and also purchase them. That's it for today. Be creative. See you soon in the next video.